10,845,886. This is how many mastery points the account Gentle Patient Guy has on the champion Shaco. Equivalent to over 12,000 games played and their account is currently in Iron 3. However, this is not the only account to have an incredible amount of mastery points and be in a low rank. Even having an incredibly high level account does not mean you have a high rank. This Korean account at level 2185 is currently in Bronze 4. To be fair, Google does state that their name translates to Representative of the Troll Association. Today, we're taking a look at some of the most active accounts who happen to also be in the lowest of ranks. But before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by Porofessor. Going into a game of League without Porofessor is like running a marathon with no shoes on. Sure, you can do it, but you probably shouldn't. Porofessor is a companion app that gives you everything you need all in one place. Like automatically importing the best runes for your champion so you never have to go into a game with the wrong runes again. From quickly showing you information about your teammates and opponents to giving you jungle timers on the map and a ton more useful features that you'll eventually be unable to go back to the days of playing without Porofessor. If any of this sounds good to you, click the first link in the description, download Porofessor and start winning every game you play. I can't guarantee that last part, but it'll definitely help. On March 25th, 2015, Riot introduced the Mastery Point system into the game. With that came players who wanted to have the most Mastery Points on their favorite champions to show the world that they're the best at said champion. Although oftentimes, a player who has a large amount of Mastery Points on one champion can tend to not be a very high ranked player. But if we're going to tackle this topic, we should begin by mentioning the number one the GOAT, the player with the most mastery points on a single champion. Their account name is Get Controlled, a player with over 17 million mastery points on Heimerdinger. A wise choice. Now that name may sound familiar as I made a video about this player back in 2019. He had achieved the record for most mastery points back then and he's maintained it ever since. And still, to this day, he is a very unique player. Since that video we made 3 years ago, not much has changed in terms of playstyle. He still does not use a keyboard to play the game. He'll use his mouse to click every ability, including his summoner spells. And he still does not buy boots. When people ask, hey, why don't you take flashy boots, which is very abnormal. I get it. I know why people take them and, and I, it's good for you and your style. Perfect. But I don't chase. I don't run away. I don't need speed. All my power, all my AP is where my, my turrets are. And that's where I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay next to them. If I die, it happens, right? I'm here to have fun. And that's what I do. And I have a lot of fun. And I sure hope he's having fun because of course by having this many mastery points, his account is one of the most active accounts in the game. Currently, he's played over 2,800 games in Season 11. We did this comparison in that past video as well, but if you average a game of League to 30 minutes, 30 times 3,000 is 90,000 minutes, which is equivalent to 62 days. Our friend here is spending over 60 days a year within Summoner's Rift. But he's not alone. There are 22 players who actively have over 10 million mastery points on a single champion. And the player with the second most mastery points isn't too far behind him. This Russian account, whose name I can't pronounce, has 16 million mastery points on Ash and has played over 3,000 games this season. Their account is unranked. And speaking of ranks, a high amount of mastery points seems to certainly not correlate with having a high rank. When we look at the top mastery points on a single champion, only 4 out of the top 10 players are above gold. And then zooming out to the top 100, 5 accounts reside in iron, 7 in bronze, 19 in silver, 26 in gold, 12 in platinum, 7 in diamond, and 2 in master. 
the remaining 22 accounts are unranked. However, some of these ranks may not be so accurate. Our Heimerdinger friend is currently in gold 3, but the account had been in bronze for the past 8 years until skyrocketing to platinum in season 11. I think it's safe to say that there may have been some shady business going on there, but what do I know? On top of the most active accounts in the game, there are players who care not about their rank, not about mastery points, but instead being the highest level. Up until 2017, level 30 was the highest level your account could be. But in the season 18 preseason, they removed the cap on your level and announced that there essentially is no limit to what level you can reach. Once this announcement was made, certain players began dedicating their every waking moment to being the highest level in the game. Today, the highest level account is level 3140, by a player from the EU West server appropriately named No Life Finn. Only 2 players are above level 3000 and only 24 players above level 2000. Basically, this is a very exclusive club distanced far away from the rest of the player base. For context, I've been an active player since the aforementioned level changes and I'm hardly past level 300. But one question, maybe two. First, why? And then, how? Why would someone dedicate so much time and effort just to be the highest level in this video game? The answer, I don't know. And I'm not sure Finn knows either. They have an Instagram where they post updates on their journey leveling up, and on August of 2020, they made a post for reaching level 2525 with the caption, another 25 level ups, step by step, day by day to 3000. Probably the most useless goal you can have in League, but fuck it, I'm up for it. And up for it they are, as these levels unironically translate to an absurd amount of time played. In 2018, they made a post on Reddit upon reaching level 1000, titled, I've reached level 1000 in League of Legends, my thoughts about it. In this post, we get a look behind the curtain of what they're doing. Hey summoners, my name is Finn, aka No Life Finn, and I've just reached level 1000 on the official League of Legends server EU West today. I started playing in 2010, and after all these years, I was tired of all the flame and spam pings in almost every game, so I was happy to do something new, which was power leveling. Every day straight, 12 plus hours since December 2017. In this post, they also express disappointment for the lack of rewards for leveling up. All you get is a gemstone every 50 levels, starting at 150, and some useless champ shards. So I got 900k useless blue essence and some gemstones, which is super boring. Also not mentioned here is that level 500 is the final upgrade to your profile border. After that, you'll have the same border regardless of being level 500, or 5,000. But anyway, one part stands out in Finn's post the most. Every day straight for 12 plus hours since December 2017. What's even crazier is they weren't spending 12 hours in ranked games. Instead, they only play against bots. Specifically, prior to the removal of Twisted Treeline, Twisted Treeline bots was the fastest way to gain experience. Winning past 7 minutes would pretty much give you as much experience points as playing a real game. Combined with having the experience boost activated, you'd climb up in levels rather quickly. Also, yeah. In order to reach these levels, you must have experience boosts activated. And those cost money. So not only is this a giant time investment, but there is also a bit of monetary investment as well. There was a comment on that reddit post saying that they had spent 1700 euros. This was 4 years ago at level 1000. So now being over 3000, you could assume that perhaps over 4 or 5 thousand euros have been spent on leveling up. But that's an assumption, it could be far less. Now aside from their Instagram post and that one reddit post, we don't get much insight on who they are. But certainly their achievement does come with a little bit of judgement from people learning about this. 
A bunch of the comments on Reddit were curious as to whether or not this person had a job, what do your parents think about this, and of course, just how are you capable of playing the game for so many hours. But at the end of the day, if being the highest level in the game brings this guy some sort of happiness or fulfillment, then good for him. With all this being said, I think I'll send off this video with some words from our friend with the most mastery points. If you're gonna waste a lot of time in your life, you better might as well be proud of it. <laughs>